The purpose of prayer is to know God, to know his heart, which always drives us to mission because the heart of God is for people to come to know him. However, what I've discovered is that most people don't struggle with understanding the purpose of prayer. What they struggle with is prayer itself. Why do we pray? How do we pray? What do I pray? When do I pray? And, and if that's where you find yourself today, you're in great company. Because that's exactly where the disciples found themselves in Luke chapter 11. After spending some time with Jesus, the one thing that really captured their attention was Jesus' prayer life. So in Luke chapter 11, verse 1, we find these words. Now Jesus was praying in a certain place. And when he finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples. And so he did as they requested. He taught them how to pray using the prayer that we most commonly refer to as the Lord's Prayer. And in that prayer, Jesus modeled for them and for us the very heart of prayer. And so what I want to do for the next few minutes is walk through the Lord's Prayer, found in Matthew chapter 6, and look at some of the principles that Jesus taught us about prayer. See, too often we complicate prayer. This is why I love the Lord's Prayer. Because in the Lord's Prayer, Jesus makes prayer simple. Prayer is about worshiping Him. Surrendering our lives to Him as we join Him daily in His mission. It's about looking to Him for our provision. Confessing our sins. Receiving His grace. And seeking His direction as well as His protection for our lives. 